there. I wanted to talk about an assignment and that's becoming an assault expert. And as you can see here, you have to achieve three different things. The two last ones, 200 kills with an assault rifle and 10 assault rifle ribbons. Uh, that goes relatively fast, but the 50 metric ribbons, that takes some time. You have to be really good at um, using the defibrillator and providing your team with med packs like over and over and over. He, you, here you can see I got like two med kit ribbons in one match and that's not even that easy to achieve. And what it also is that when you play the med per, the medic person or the med person, um, you have to put yourself constantly in harm's way. Like you, you run into places where you probably wouldn't get, go if you wouldn't want to like help your team like this. You know, if you're like, for example, a support person, uh, you just give out ammo. You kind of stay in the back as a med person. You constantly run into the um, danger uh, to try to revive your team members. And, and as you can see here, I was like many times just kind of like desperately trying to get to those people. And there's so many times where you basically are not getting there in time because a lot of times you have to clear out the room first before you can get to your team member that's laying on the ground needing your help. And uh, so many, many times I ran to this person and I was all happy to get there. Uh, only to find out that the person right at that moment died and I couldn't do anything about him or her anymore. So it's 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 a lot of times, um, you know, you could probably get a lot of medkit ravens, but it's just because the other team prevents you from getting to the people. You, you just, um, it's just going to take a lot, lot longer. And there's been many ways where I have done two, three revives in a match and I didn't get any ribbons in another match. I've done one revive and I've gotten a, a ribbon. And so I'm not really sure how uh, if this is calculated, you know, if it's the number of revives and med packs together or, you know, how fast you revived or in what situation you revived, you know, if you were like more brave than other times. I have no clue. So this definitely took a lot longer than I thought. And I don't usually uh, like to uh, play the assault. I'm more like somebody who likes to play the uh, support. So I can't wait to go back playing the support because I've been playing this assault class now for a really long time. But it was also good because I could finally unlock all the assault weapons and that's pretty cool so here we go my final my final revive that revive that finally gave me the 50s met kit ribbon and i had to die to get that i knew that but i just had to get that red med kit ribbon here you can see i finally unlocked the ace 23 that weapon that i so wanted because i heard it's really good and i finally got it and I'm celebrating that with some grades up in that house where your enemy is sitting the whole time. So now I'm equipping the Ace 23, as you can see here, no attachments, nothing. Just trying to see how it is, so excited. I just can't wait. Uh, and I feel now in this situation I would have died because what I noticed right away, the fire rate is extremely high. I mean, that thing just goes really fast. But I also notice that the gun is pulling up while you shoot. I think the high fire rate gives this gun a little uh, that kind of like recoil towards the ceiling. So you have to kind of counter um, act and pull the weapon down a little bit when you shoot and definitely uh, pump because it's just crazy otherwise. I hope that the grip is going to make a difference here. It does really well out of the hip though. Distance, maybe not so, so I'm just got the red dot here and trying that out right now. And it seems it has a little more recall with the red dot on it, but we'll see. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye.